Alright. Howdy there, folks. This is Ambiguous Influence. And today I am doing the uh, beginning of the Persona 4 Golden playthrough. I've uh, played this... Uh, I've played Persona 4 before several times, but this is my uh, first time playing uh, Golden. Uh, for today, I'm mainly looking to... Uh, hit, uh, dig until we hit gameplay, as it were. Uh, so that's probably going to be around mm, four hours or so, if I uh, remember things correctly. I'm uh, just going to play on normal. Well, relax and have fun with the game. The classic limo scene. And if anything needs to be done with audio, of course, just let me know. Ah, it seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? So actually I'm going to go with uh, just naming him new Yu Narukami. Which is the uh, same name he has in the uh, fighting game and a few of the different uh, adaptations. Hmm, I see. Now, let's take a look into your future, shall we? Do you believe in fortune telling? Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? Hmm. The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. The card indicating the future beyond that is... The moon in the upright position. This card represents hesitation and mystery. Very interesting indeed. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort, after which you will return here. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. Ah, I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. This is Margaret. 
She is a resident of this place, like myself. My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. She's actually my favorite of the uh, Velvet Room attendants. We shall attend to the details another time. Until then, farewell. He bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Power hey, is the ultimate aphrodisiac. Well, what do you think? Well, I'm sure that you all know already. But at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. Quiet down, guys. I'm not done yet. Just about. Over here. Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. Welcome to Inaba. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. Let's see, I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. I'll say, you've really grown. I still remember when you were in diapers. This here's my daughter. Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what are you so shy for? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> well then, let's get going. My car's over there. Hey. You drop this. Thank you. Whatever. All I did was pick it up. It's a note you made for yourself with the Dojima's address. What's wrong? You got in the car and headed for Dojima's house. Inaba, Central Shopping District Gas Station. Hi, welcome to the 
Welcome to Mole. Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? Uh-huh. It's in the back, to your left. You know which way is left? The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. I know. Jeez. Are you taking a trip? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. The city, huh? Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. Right away, sir. Good time as any for a smoke. Are you in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. Oh, I should get back to work. Nanako is looking at you. Are you okay? Did you get car sick? You don't look too good. Could it be exhaustion from the long trip? Now that she mentions it, you feel a little dizzy. What's wrong? You okay? It's nothing. That's understandable. It must have been a long trip for you. Why not take a little walk? Get some fresh air. Just let me know when you're ready to go. I'll wait here. Why don't you take a walk and get some fresh air? The shopping district is near the house, so you should get to know where all the stores are. Except Blue Butterfly. So we get a save in here. <laughs> Have we met before? I met you just now. Just now? <laughs> okay. The girl is thinking to herself. This is the bookseller. It is fairly empty inside. A fierce-looking man is single-mindedly pounding on something in the back of the store. You decide not to enter. This is, of course, where we get our uh, weapons and armor. It's the Maruku Tofu Shop. An old woman is tending the store. Hey, do you know where my snack went? If I, I had it in the fridge, but it's gone. Oh, I had it just now. I thought it was leftovers. What? No, it wasn't leftovers. I was making sure to save it for later. Oh, really? Sorry about that. Well, I'm going to work. See ya. What? I was really looking forward to eating it. They seem to be having a sibling dispute. You should leave them be. Uh, Shiroku store? Shiroku, I should say. A variety of products line the shelves. A friendly looking old lady sits behind the counter. Vending machine and the uh, capsule machines. Beverage vending machine, however all the drinks are sold out, there's nothing for you to buy, yet. Out of ten? Hmm. I like this shop, it's very nice. It's inconvenient, inconvenient at the same time. There's a delicate balance. This is what I expect country life to be like. Okay. Agent housewife. Hmm, you have something to do in this shopping district? It's a bit run down, but we have everything here. It used to be a lot more prosperous back in the day, but we only see regulars nowadays. It's only if only Judas hadn't come into town. It's convenient, but it's a little sad. And the next bus isn't gonna come for a while, and if you miss one bus, you're pretty screwed. If only I had a motorbike, I could go anywhere I wanted anytime I wanted. I wonder how much they cost. Maybe I'll be able to buy myself one. It's the bus stop. You have no reason to use the bus right now. Dejma's waiting for you. Okay. Uh, are you okay? Naoko seems worried about you. How are you feeling? Ready to get back in the car? I'm ready. Alright, let's hit the road then. During events, press the backlog button to see the log and skip event button to skip the event entirely. Okay, good to know.
You arrived at the Dojima residence. For the next year, this place will be your home. Alright, let's have a toast. So, your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? I know it's only for a year, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? It's rough being a kid. Well, it's just me and Nanako here, so it'll be nice having someone like you around. So long as you're here, you're part of the family. So make yourself at home. I'll do just that. Good. Well, anyway, let's eat. Oh, who's calling at this hour? Dojima speaking. Mm-hmm. Yeah? I see. So where is it? Uh-huh. All right, I'm on my way. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. Nanako, it's raining out. What did you do with the laundry? I already brought it in. All right. Well, I'm off. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> Those uh, sound effects of tiles are new to this version. You find yourself alone with Nanako. You might want to strike up conversation. What does your dad do? He investigates stuff. Like crime scenes. My dad's a detective. And now for the local news. City Council Secretary, Taro Namatame, is under fire for an alleged relationship with a female reporter. His wife, Enka Ballad sensation Misuzu Haragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. In response, iTelevision has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. This is boring. And Tunis. Every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day's great at your Juness. Every day's great at your Juness. Oh, this child. Are you going to eat? Oh, um, Nanako is at a loss. You should leave her alone. The quiz show is on TV. You open the fridge. There is some fried rice. Eat it. Eat it. It had, has no taste at all. Strange. Because it isn't used very often, the kitchen is organized. If there were ingredients in the refrigerator, you might be able to make lunch. This is the room you're borrowing from Dojima. You're tired from the long trip, you should rest. Yeah, so I think we just have to go straight to bed. Go to sleep? Yes. You'll be living in this town for one year, starting today. You'll wonder if everything will be all right. School starts tomorrow. You should hurry to bed.
This is... The area is covered in a thick fog. All you can do now, right now is proceed forward. I do like the uh, kind of CRT effect they have going there. I think I even saw a scan line going. Do you seek the truth? You heard someone's voice. Yep, there's a scan line. If it's truth you desire, come and find me. You hear the voice from up ahead. You sent someone ahead. Will you continue? Yes. So, you're the one pursuing me. <laughs> Try all you like. It seems that you can see a little, despite the fog. I see. Indeed, this is very interesting information. But you will not catch me so easily. If what you seek is truth, then your search will be even harder. The surroundings are covered in fog. Everyone sees what they want to, and the fog only deepens. Tax won't connect. Will we meet again? At a place other than here? <laughs> I look forward to it. You are losing consciousness. You can hear someone's voice. Breakfast ready. It's almost time to get up. You feel like you had a nightmare. What could it have been about? You're starting school today. You should head to the living room for now. Good morning. Okay, let's eat. Did your father go to work? There was some kind of trouble. He won't be back. You're starting school today, right? My school's on the way, so let's go together. Nanako seems somewhat restless. You decide to head to school with Nanako. School zone. Samegawa floodplain. Dual zone, intersection in front of the school. That looked painful. You should leave him be. That is a hell up to that school. Wow. You arrived at the main gates of Yasogami High School. What kind of student life awaits you here? transfer student from the city in this class. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? A transfer student from the city? 
Just like you, huh, Yosuke? Huh? You look dead today. Yeah, um, I don't want to talk about it. What's with him? Who knows? <laughs> All right, shut your traps. I'm Kinshiro Muraoka, your homeroom teacher from today forward. First things first, just because it's spring doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love-struck baboons. Long as I'm around, you students are going to be pure as the driven snow. Now, I hate wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. This sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. You calling me a loser? <laughs> Courage, Jason Christ. Huh. That's it. You're on my shit list. Effective immediately. Now listen up. This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. I, I mean, we, you're here and you, you seem to meet both those criteria, so... Uh... You'd better not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone abusing them. But what do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. Mr. Maroka goes on and on. Excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. So hurry up and sit down already. He's the worst, huh? Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we just have to hang in there for a year. You can hear people around you talking about you. Sucks to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. Then again, we're all in the same boat. Shut your traps! I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. Your life at this new school has begun. Will you be able to fit in here? That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. <laughs> Attention all teachers, please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. Ugh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. He's seriously getting on my nerves. Did something happen? Don't those sirens sound really close? Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Oh uh, yeah, you mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that. Are you serious? Hey, Yukiko-san, mind if I ask you something? Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? I can't discuss such things. Yeah, I guess not. Oh, sheesh. How much longer is this gonna take? There's no telling. I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? You know, that thing about rainy nights? Oh, no, not yet. Sorry. Aw, uh, that's okay. 
It's just, I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamino, the announcer. Attention, all students. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. I repeat. Incident? What, something actually happened? Come on, let's go take a look. Hey, are you going home by yourself? Why don't you come with us? Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satonaka. You know, I sit next to you, right? Of course. Well, nice to meet you. This is Yukiko Amagi. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I got no upbringing. I just wanted to ask some stuff, really. That's all. Um, Miss Satanaka, this was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see. And I'm really sorry, it was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. See ya, thank. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? Oh, Yusuke, you deserve it. Uh, are you all right? <laughs> oh, He's not Yusuke. my favorite character. <laughs> are you worried about me? He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. He looks like he's in a lot of pain. You should leave him be. You're Yuki, right? You want to go hang out somewhere? What? Who, who are you? What's up with him? What school's he from? Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. No bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? Uh, so, are, are you coming or not? I, I'm not going. Fine! Well, what did he want from me? What did he want? Uh, obviously he was asking you out on a date. Huh? Really? You really had no clue? Sheesh. But then again, that was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Yo, Yukiko-san. Turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Oh, well, you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. We're just curious is all! Um, I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Come on, let's go! Everyone's staring. So you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. Like probation for assault. But that's a few years off. There really is nothing here, huh? Rice patty. That's what makes it nice. But there is nothing much we can show to people from outside. Though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of famous. 
Oh, wait! And there's the Amagi Inn! Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Huh? It's just an old inn. No way! It's been in all sorts of magazines as a hidden treasure! Those hills in the background are just like peak PS2 graphics, which is what this game was originally made for. It's a great inn. It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is going to take over someday. Their inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. I don't think that's entirely true. So, tell me. You think Yukiko's cute, huh? Uh, I think so, yeah. Oh, I knew it! Come on, don't start this again. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kind of weird, huh? Come on, stop it. Y you shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. W wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Damn straight. Gee, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, but this is our chance to talk to someone from the big city, and you barely said a word. Hey, what's that? So that high schooler left school early, and as she came down this street... Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? I wanted to see it too. Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, we're just passing by. Huh. I should have figured that had happened. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. Dachi, how long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? I'm sorry. <clears throat> Man sees one dead body. Don't wash your mm. face. We're going to go around and gather information. Was this what that announcement was about? What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? Hey, Yukiko. Why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. All right, then. We're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor, let's do our best. The two of them left. You decide to head away from the crime scene. Okay, so I can actually move her around. Police officer, you're a student Yasugami? You should have gotten an order to go home from school today. Go on, go home. This is the bookstore. It's fairly empty inside, so not selling anything yet. There's a bit of a ruckus, and there's a lot of police officers. What's going on? A crime? Really? Yay, an emergency! Now I don't have to go back to work! Based. I've been hearing sirens all day today. I was getting such great sleep, but they woke me up. Oh yeah, that's one of the diners. Town bulletin board. This is the bulletin board. Look at the poster. Samega Boju Mitsuzi Haragi. It's a poster for a famous anchor seeker. Another cap. The meat store. A bunch of appetizing dishes are out on display, but the owner is nowhere to be found. This is the shrine. 
It's so unbelievable to see so many policemen in this town. This has never happened before. This looks like the, like the shrine's main building. You have no business here. It's a small shrine. There's a fortune box sitting there, but there's nothing inside. Textile store. Barber. Liquors and vending machine. Oh, bicycle shop. That's new to this version, I believe. No says the shop is closed. So leave shopping district. I was waiting for my dad. He said he's gonna come get us. I heard something happened, but what? I've never seen this town so filled with policemen and unrest. It's trying to scare me a little, so I just called my husband to come pick us up. The elevator is currently being inspected. The elevator is currently being inspected. Okay, can't go up there. I keep hearing the police sirens today. I'm not used to all that noise. It's really unsettling. Isn't this river something? It's called the Samigawa, and it has tons of fish. It's a wonderful, beautiful river. I keep seeing police cars zooming by today. Was there some kind of accident? No, there was an intentional. Alrighty. And head to the Dojima residence. There's a scooter parked in front of the house. And it was terrible. I was doing some work on the farm and the police came around to question me. It was such a dangerous it's such a dangerous world these days, I can't even relax when I go out shopping. And I was going to buy some tiny soul tomato for dinner tonight. What now? Oh, that's no problem. Here, you can have some that I harvested from my garden. It's no big thing. Anyone can start home garden, as long as they have some unused land to work with. You take the spot next. You take that spot next to the Dojima place, for example. There's more than enough land to make a fine garden. Oh my, is that so? If they start a home garden too, does that mean I can look forward to them sharing the vegetables they grow? <laughs> well... Is that also a thing now in this game? Huh. Like, I've never played the golden version, so... It'll become evening when you return home. Return home? Yes. Dad's not coming home again tonight. Most likely. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. The school zone is being shown on TV. Could this be the incident you heard about? The deceased yes, has been yes, identified as Miss Mayumi Yamano, a 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... Uh, the, the Inaba Police Department! That's where Dad works! <sighs> Are you worried about him? Uh-uh. It's his job, so things like this happen. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. A thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress, and plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. It seems that the local TV station's announcer was found dead near the Yasugami High School campus. Yanansa Mayumi Yamano. Her affair with a local councilman's secretary had been on the news just the other day. They found her on the roof? That's scary. <gasps> oh, it's Juness. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. 
Nanako is looking at you expectantly. Yeah, Junas. You memorized it already? <laughs> I'm the best one in my class. Super. Nanako sings the song to herself over and over again. There's nothing wrong about this child. It seems that she's forgotten all about the scary story. When is Dad coming home? Nanako keeps looking towards the TV with a worried expression. You should leave her alone. The quiz show is on TV. Nothing catches your eye. You are still tired from getting used to your new life. You are sure you should return to your room and rest. Rest. Someone. Maybe you should help him. <laughs> you saved me. Thanks. Um. Oh yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Yosuke seems to be all right. Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? We found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. I think it was some kind of warning. There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. You might be right. Dangling a dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. Then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. Oh crap, we're late. You want a ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. Be quiet, you idiots! You guys are in high school, aren't you? Can't you shut up during class? Don't you have any common sense? First of all, my job is to waste my precious time teaching you assholes philosophy. And since I'm so nice, I'll straighten up your rotten attitudes while I'm at it. Aren't you honored? And I'll be going especially hard on any of you morons that are curious about the murder. Got it? Now, get your books out! You listen to the lecture intently. Your knowledge has increased. So, you getting used to this place? Yeah. Wow, that was fast. There isn't much to do here compared to the big city. But there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else. The air's clean, the food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? It's grilled steak, man. <laughs> like that's anything special, huh? I know a place where you can get it cheap. Want to come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. What about me, huh? No apologies? My trial of the dragon? You always come around when I'm talking about food. How about it, Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the inn today anyway. Wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Well, I should be on my way. <gasps> oh well, we should get going too. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? Yes, it could have been three. Jeunesse food court. Well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plans. Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. Dude, this isn't my place or anything. Oh, right. I haven't told you yet, huh? 
I moved here from another city about six months back. This location just opened up and my dad was assigned to manage it. So our entire family came out here. Here, this is to welcome you to town. Sadonaka, yours is on me too. Yeah, I know. The conversation became animated over small talk. It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. A lot of stores there started closing, and... Ooh. Uh... You can't blame it all on Juness, can you? <sighs> hey, it's Saki-senpai. Sorry, be right back. Is she Yusuke's girlfriend? <laughs> he wishes. That's Saki Kanishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. I think she's working here part time, though. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. What's up, Hanachan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Oh, madam, you wound me. Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. I... <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. <sighs> Why'd I leave school early yesterday? Hey, is he the kid who transferred here? Are you the transfer student? It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Not necessarily. He doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. Will do. Yeah, he's annoying. <laughs> I had left him in pain multiple times before deciding to help. All right, break it up. You're kind of getting on my nerves. Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Laters. Oh, uh, senpai? <laughs> Saki senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Oh, you don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? <laughs> I get it. So that's how it is. The daughter of a local family-run liquor store. And the scion of the invading chain. Oh, the flame of forbidden love. Dude, it's not like that. Oh, really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? You're supposed to look into a TV that switched off, alone, exactly at midnight on a rainy night. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. And they say that person's your soulmate. What? For a second I thought you were actually going to say something useful. How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? Of course I don't. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. Try it out? Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? Wow. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. All that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> Indeed, what if? Jeez, you shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now he's a childish one. All I'm saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. You heard the rumor about the Midnight Channel, where one can see one's soulmate on a rainy night. Maybe you should try it out tonight.
Another dinner alone with Nanako. Did your father call? No. He always says he will. But he's a liar. What a day. I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? No. You're late again. I'm sorry. I'm busy at work. Can you put the news on for me? Next. More details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. It's a follow-up report about the incident yesterday. When Miss Yamano, the TV announcer, was alive, she was having an affair with a councilman's secretary. The man's wife seems to be Misuzu Hirai, an Enka singer. Could this incident be tied to their lover's quarrel? The police plan to investigate this relationship and question any personnel involved with them. In addition, we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. <sighs> an interview with a kid? Ugh, where the hell did they find her? What went through your mind when you saw it? Could you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? <clears throat> The female student's face and voice are indistinct, but you feel like you've seen her before somewhere. Don't you think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? Huh? She was killed? Oh, uh, so did you see anyone suspicious around here? No, not really. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? Feed our ratings. Huh? That's... The reporter's enthusiasm seems to be perplexing the girl. Looking closely, she reminds you of Saku Kanishi, Yosuke Senpai. A tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. <laughs> if they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. <laughs> I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. <sighs> Loads of prank calls, though. So the cause of death is still unknown, and they don't have a single suspect yet? Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide? We'll be right back after these messages. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day's great at your Juness. Every day's great at your Juness. Hey, Dad, can we go to Juness together sometime? <clears throat> no? He seems to be asleep. Jeez. When I go to bed, I'll wake Dad up and tell him to go to his own room. Nanako is still watching TV. Dojima is sleeping. You should leave him alone. Nothing catches your eye. The rain falls into the night. You're reminded that you made a promise to test out the rumors of this midnight channel. You should check it out in your room. Watch TV in your room. You can hear it's raining outside. It's almost midnight. Your soulmate appears if you look into a TV on a rainy night. Could Chie's story be true?
<laughs> Are you okay? I'm okay. Okay. Well, good night. Nanako seems to have returned to her room. What just happened? You decide to talk about it with the others tomorrow. Perfect timing. Sorry. Move over. She forced herself under your umbrella. <laughs> I didn't. I did have, have my own, but I saw this kung fu movie where they used an umbrella to pull off some sweet moves, and I accidentally broke mine trying to mimic the movie. By the way, did you see it? I did. Ha! <laughs> Do tell. But the person it showed. Never mind. I'll save it for when the others are around. We're going to be late for school. Um. Oh, uh, it's kind of awkward to only bring this up now, but we're pretty close here. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and run the rest of the way. Don't worry about it. Huh? Uh, are you sure? Thanks. If you say so, then. I guess it's okay. It's okay. Thanks. Come on. All right, let's go. Ms. Sofu. Hello, everyone. My name is Kimiko Sofu. And I don't know how much you know about world history, but I'm an expert. First, a little about me. I love to use my dowser to look for lost items, and there's nothing quite like a romance. In fact, world history is a magnificent romance. History is like a river. It was born in the past and flows ever forward. I hope we can all enjoy the profundity of history together. <laughs> and since this was, is my first lecture, I'll start with an easy question. Uh, transferee, Mr. Narukami, please stand up. The Western calendar is based on Anno Domini, the traditionally believed year of Jesus Christ's birth. What is the year before 1 AD called? 1 BC. You gave the answer you think is correct. Ah, you seem to understand this well. If you think that history is like math, 0 AD would be the natural assumption, but world history is much more complicated. The Gregorian calendar we use today is based on the Julian calendar, which was made while there was no concept of no concept of the zero as a number. That's why, when counting backwards, we go from 180 straight to 1 BC. Hopefully, that was a nice introduction to world history. You gave the correct answer. Your knowledge has increased. down it's so freaky is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution it's messed up my senpai told me it was a third year named saki who found the body y yo um it's a it's not really that important but well yesterday on tv i uh Oh, uh, 
You never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? Saki Senpai is supposedly the one who discovered that body. I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today either. Huh? Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today too? Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. Is it just me or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out today? I guess they're running her ragged. By the way, did you see it last night? Huh? Uh, well, what about you? I did. I seriously saw a girl. But my soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? Figure it out, Chie. I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length. She was wearing our school uniform and... Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Wait, so you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? D does that mean we have the same soulmate? Look up polyamory. How should I know? How about you? Did you see it? You told them about what happened last night. It sounds like we all saw the same person. Weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. That'd be one interesting dream, though. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. <laughs> That's pretty realistic. If it had been bigger... Oh, that reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. Oh, yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. Want to go check them out on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Oh, definitely. My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen. Never change, Chie. Oh, Never change. In stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> they don't believe you at all. You decide to go to Juness with the others. To show them. Juness, Electronics Department. Wow! This is huge! And holy crap, it's expensive. Who buys something like this? I don't know. Rich folks? Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. Huh. Not worth trying then, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. Nope, can't get in. Figures. <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. Ugh, what am I saying? So, Chia, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? They said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? <clears throat> well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model just released this spring. What? That's not cheap at all! There's way too many zeros! I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. You got connections, right? Come on, hook me up! You know I can't do that. Hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit. It's a little old, but... With a TV this big, you really might be able to go inside. Oh yeah, what kind of TV do you... Huh? Something wrong, Yosuke? Is his arm in the TV? Yes. Whoa. Like, with a, a new function? Hell no! You gotta be kidding me. Did you really stick your hand through the screen? Oh man, this is for real. That's some magic trick, man. So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? 
Both of them are staring at you, astonished. You might be able to put in more than just your arm. Hey, don't do that! What are you doing? Oh my god! There's empty space inside. You tell them that. What do you mean, inside? What, what do you mean, empty space? It seems very spacious in here. What do you mean, spacious? I mean, what's going on? Old crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. What the? Are you gonna pee your pants? I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. I can't hold it anymore. Shit, customers, they're coming. What? But we've got a guy half stuck in the TV here. What are we gonna do? Juness? Hell no, it isn't. I mean, we fell through a TV. Actually, uh, what is going on here? Um. So, uh, we're still alive, right? Are you guys okay? Your understanding has increased. I think my butt's cracked now. Always was, Yusuke. Uh, of course it is. Whoa. What now? Did you wet your pants? No, oh, stupid. Look around. Is this a studio? All this fog. Or is it smoke? There's no place like this in Inaba. Is there? Hell no. But man, this place is huge. What are we gonna do? Let's look around. Huh? B but look, we need to get home and. Huh? Wait a minute. W which way did we come in from? Uh, Above. I don't see a way in or out. What? That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know. Don't ask me. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. Okay, so how? Let's look for a way out. Yeah, an exit. We need to find one. Let's calm down and think about this. All right. So we need to find a way out. Is there really a way out of here? We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. That's true, but... If there's no exit, we're trapped, so let's cross our fingers and look around. What is this place? Feels different from where we were before. It looks like we're in some kind of building, but damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly see. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? I can't be positive, but we gotta trust our instinct a little. I know, but it seems that there's no choice for now but to continue onward. Is it me, or is the fog lighter here? No service. What a surprise. Can you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. Huh? What the? It's a dead end. There's no exit. 
keeps getting creepier and creepier the further we go. Uh, I can't hold it any longer! My bladder's gonna explode! Yosuke! What are you doing? I gotta let it out before I piss my pants! You're going here? Oh, you have gotta be kidding. Turn around! I Yosuke Hanamura, everyone. <laughs> It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. Like I care. <laughs> Anyways, what's with this room? Check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. Someone must really hate this person. Dude, this chair and rope. That kind of arrangement is never good. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Come on! Let's go back to where we came from and look somewhere else for an exit. Hey, I think I've seen that poster before. Who cares? Let's go! I'm sick of this place! And I'm not feeling so good. Now that you mention it, me too. Your body does feel heavy. Could it be due to this place's oppressive atmosphere? Alright, let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. Phew! We finally made it back here. Wait... What's that? There's something over there. It's a mascot character. What is this thing? A monkey? A bear? What in the world? That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? <gasps> it talked. What are you? You want to fight? The, don't yell at me like that. The bear is cowering in fear. Maybe it would be better to ask him nicely. What is this place? This place is what it is. It doesn't have a name. It's where I live. You live here? If I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. I do like his little ear twitches. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? What are you? Where are we? What the heck is going on here? I already told you. Anyways, you should hurry back. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the frickin' exit... Wait, what? What the hell? Where did those TVs come from? His magical tappy toes. Okay, now go, go, get out of here. I'm a busy bear. What's going on now? Whoa! Hey, what are you doing? S stop pushing! <laughs> Did we make it back? Attention shoppers! Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. So I wonder what's with the weird 
penguin meme thing like just above that TV like it's clearly like a real photograph that they just put in this game and then they have this here like what is it why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight and like right to the left of Yosuke like why is there a uh Little placard with Rize on it, and it just says "moo" in an in an ad for a TV. I I just I have many questions. All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Crap! It's already that late. <sighs> Looks like we were in there for quite a while. That's right. Now I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. That's the poster we saw. What's up now? Right next to the cutout. Hey, you're right. They're the same. I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Misuzu Hiragi. She's been all over the news lately. Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Hey, so does that mean that weird room we saw? Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Now that I think about it, there was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, stop. No more. We gotta stop talking about this. I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. I'm feeling a chill, too. Let's go home. I wanna lie down and rest. Hey, well... You still feel sluggish. Um... Well, I doubt you'd know. But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? She discovered the body. Yeah, that's true. Well, to be honest... We got a call from her family. She's disappeared. We've got people looking for her, but she hasn't been found yet. <sighs> Work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. The Amagi Inn. It's the inn that Yukio's family runs. The Amagi family, who run the Amagi Inn! She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? Oh yes, the Amagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. The manager's teenage daughter also works there. And it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. Okay. Uh, I see. Correct reaction. Moving along, it's time for the weather report. The rain has begun to subside. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. The news continues. Just before the announcer was found dead, she was apparently staying at the Amagi Inn, run by Yukiko's family. And it seems that the whereabouts of Saki Kanishi, who discovered the body, are unknown. Is the ramen ready now? Give it some more time. <laughs> you sneezed. You fell a slight you feel a slight chill. Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako, could you get him some cold medicine? You should get to bed after you take it. People who are sick should stay in bed. There's fog today, so you should go to sleep early or you'll catch a cold. You should go straight to bed tonight. A spring cold can be tough. 
Nothing catches your eye. Okay, yeah, we don't even have the uh, full menu yet. Come on. You feel sluggish. You should rest early today. Rest. You're up. Well, I'm off. Dojima left the house. Dad has to go do something. He got a call, so he left. Nanako looks worried. You can hear girls gossiping. When I looked, I saw three police cars zooming by. You live by the police station, don't you? Did you hear anything? I heard some yelling, but nothing more. A total disappointment. Jeez, you need to pay more attention to stuff like that. How else are we supposed to get the juicy stories? You hear sirens nearby. It seems there's been an incident. You decide to head to school. Did you see it yesterday? Of course not. What is that rumor for real? I don't know, but it seems like a lot of people have seen it. You overhear people gossiping about something. Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. I wonder why they're holding a school assembly all of a sudden. Hey, what's wrong, Yosuke? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Everyone, please, settle down. The school assembly is about to begin. First, the principal has something to say. I regret to say that I have a terrible announcement for all of you. One of our third-year students, Ms. Saki Konishi of Class 3, has passed away. Passed away? Ms. Konishi was found deceased early this morning. The reasons behind her passing are currently under investigation by the police. If they ask you for your cooperation, I urge you as students of this school to provide only the facts. Please quiet down. I have been assured by the faculty that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. So mind what you say, not only to the police, but to anyone who asks. Found dead? How could this happen? <sighs> the principal's address continues. She died the same way as that announcer, right? It's so creepy. Well, last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone pole. It's gotta be a serial murder case. Someone said the cause of death was some unknown poison. Unknown? Come on, this isn't some sci-fi drama. It's more of an urban fantasy dramedy. Oh, by the way, did you hear? Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that Midnight Channel thingy. They said she totally looked like she was in pain. Isn't that scary? <laughs> Sounds like someone had a nightmare. The media's been broadcasting their interviews with her nonstop. So maybe they just had Saki on the brain. Sheesh. It's easy to toss around theories if you're not personally involved. Hey, did you guys check out the TV last night? Yosuke, not you too. Just listen for a sec. Something kept bothering me, so I watched it again, and I think the girl on the screen was Saki-senpai. There's no mistaking it. Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain, and then she disappeared from the screen. What? 
You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer's, right? Well, remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? Maybe, just maybe, but Ms. Yamano might have been on that midnight channel before she died too. What's that supposed to mean? Hold on. Are you saying people who appear on that TV <gasps> die? I can't. Something tells me. I just can't dismiss it as coincidence. <gasps> Plus, remember what that bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? It also said that someone's been throwing people in there. In that room with the posters on the wall, it has to have something to do with the announcer's death. I mean, don't you think there's some kind of connection there? Couldn't that world in the TV have something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? Well, what do you think? You might be right! So it's not just me, huh? If there is a connection, then it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. That would explain the posters in that room. Which means, if we look around, we might find a place that has something to do with Senpai, too. Yosuke, don't tell me. Yeah. I'm thinking about going in again. I want to find out for myself. D don't do this! You should just let the police handle this and... You think we can rely on the police? They haven't made any progress on the announcer's case. Besides, even if we told them about the world inside the TV, there's no way they're going to believe us. If I'm completely off base with this, that's fine. It's just... I need to know why Senpai had to die like this. Yosuke. After what I've seen and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. Sorry, but you're the only person who can help me. I'm going to go get ready. I'll be waiting for you at Juness. Yosuke has asked her to take him into the TV world again. I can kind of understand how he feels. But we can't be sure we'll be able to get out safely again. What should we do? Go with Yosuke. You serious? Anyways, let's go to Juness. We can't leave Yosuke alone. Uh, yes, let's put a save in. You guys came. We came to stop you, idiot. Come on, you really shouldn't do this. It's too dangerous. I know, but we were able to come back once, right? If we go in from the same location, maybe we'll meet that bear again. Maybe isn't good enough. Look, I can't just act like everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do with me. That's true, but... What about you? Could you just walk away? I am worried about Chie. There's no telling what may happen over there. You've voiced a concern over Chie coming along. Your understanding has increased. Yeah, it'll be just you and me. Don't worry, I'm not going in without a plan. Chie... I'm leaving you in charge of this. Huh? What's that? A rope? We'll go in with this tied to me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. What? what? Then this is a lifeline? Come on, wait a sec. Here. This is for you. Obtained golf club. Obtained medicine times three. I thought it might be better than going in empty-handed. All right, let's go. There's no use wasting any more time. Chie, whatever you do, don't let go of the rope. Hey! I said wait!
place this look this is the same place as last time so they are connected from place to place you guys why'd you come back I get it you're the ones behind this you're that thing from last time wait what the hell did you just say Lately, I can tell someone's been throwing people in here. It's making this world more and more messed up. This is the second time you guys came here, and I don't think anyone forced you in. That means you're the most suspicious. Okay, point. You guys must be the ones throwing the people in here. Don't label us like that talking about throwing people in if someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out they might die who would do such a wait a sec all this talk about someone throwing people in here does he mean senpai and the announcer did that someone throw those two in here yes hey that must be it yeah i agree let's assume he's telling the truth could it be that someone's throwing people in here, intending to kill them? If that's the case... What are you guys mumbling about? Why'd you come here anyways? It's a one-way door! You can't get out once you're in! Remember how I had to let you guys out? Yeah, whatever. We don't need your help this time. See? This time we have a life... Li what?! Hey! You better let us out once we're done investigating here. I'm the one who wants to investigate. I've lived here for a long time, but it's never been noisy like this till now. Do you have proof? Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. It doesn't work that way. See? So it is you guys. For the last time, it's not us. So we've got nothing to prove to you. Hey. You better answer our questions. Oh, here's a little tail that twitches like alongside his ears. We by accident. We're dead serious. Listen up, because people have died in our world. Every time the fog appears, a dead body shows up with it. It has to be related to this place somehow. If you know something, tell us. A dead body? Whenever the fog appears? I know that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. It's really dangerous when the fog lifts, that's when the shadows get violent. Ah, I get it. Huh? If you get it, then explain it to us, damn it. If it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here. Shadows get violent? That's why I said to hurry back. It's dangerous when that happens. Okay, no more. Qu I know you guys did it. You better stop right now. I told you and told you we're not the ones doing it. I've about had it with you. Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? I'm just saying... You might be the culprits. I'm just making sure. What? Man, this bear's driving me nuts. What is this place anyways? It looks like a TV studio. Is something being filmed here? Hey, hey, don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? Weird show? Filmed? What does that mean? Uh, I'm asking if someone's been filming the people that get thrown in here. Eh? I don't get it. This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that filming thing here. Um, always been like this. Only me and shadows are here. I told you before. We don't know what these shadow things are, or what you are either, for that matter. You keep telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. Maybe you're the real culprit. And what's with that stupid costume? I'd say it's time you showed your face. <coughs> what the hell are you? It, it's empty inside. Me? The culprit? I wouldn't do such a thing. I just live here. I just want to live here peacefully. 
Okay, I'll believe that you guys aren't the culprits. But I want you to find the real guy who did all this. You have to stop him. Promise me. Or else... I'm not gonna let you guys out of here. You little... This can't keep going on. My home here will be a complete mess. And then... And then... I... <laughs> what are you crying for all of a sudden? Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. The mysterious bear is asking you to find the culprit behind this. Someone on the outside is throwing people into this world. If the culprit isn't you, he wants you to find the real culprit. The mysterious bear seems serious about this. Hey, what should we do? You remember the words of the mysterious old man who called himself Igor. Sorry, it Igor. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. Could this be the mystery that will be thrust upon you? What was that contract Igor spoke of? Could finding the culprit and solving the case be part of this promise? In any case, since you cannot leave the TV world on your own, there seems to be no other option. You're the only ones I can ask. Will you promise me? I promise. Thank you! Damn bear. Practically holding a gun to our heads. But it's true that we came here to figure things out. So far, we're completely in the dark. Look for the culprit, huh? Bring it on. You got my word, too. Might as well introduce ourselves. I'm Yosuke Hanamura, and this is my buddy. You got a name? Teddy! <laughs> Figures. But how are we supposed to find the culprit in the first place? I don't know. Oh, but I know where the last person came in. The last person? You mean Saki-senpai? I mean the person who came in and disappeared last time. I don't know the name. Well, I'll take you there. You might find clues. Oh, one thing first. You two should put these on. these glasses for as you put on the glasses your vision instantly becomes much clearer whoa the difference is like night and day with these on it's like the fog doesn't exist they'll help you walk through the fog well I've been here for a long time so you can rely on me uh, but I can only show you where the place is you guys will have to defend yourselves what happened to relying on you? There better not be any monsters, you understand? We brought weapons, but, I mean, they're more for show. Says you. We just got here. If it's so dangerous, why don't you do something instead of relying on us? Uh-uh. No way. I've got no muscles. Oh, oh, I'll give you guys moral support from a safe distance. Thank you, Neelix. How's that sound? Can Teddy really not fight? Try hitting Teddy. No! Is this thing for real? Uh, this is so lame. We swore to find the culprit, and this is all the backup we get? Oh, yeah. Can I ask you something? Who's this Saki senpai person? Someone you know? That doesn't matter right now. Anyways, at least now we know senpai might have been thrown in here. Maybe we can find more information, too. Let's get moving. Wait! What is this place? It looks just like the shopping district. What's going on here? Some weird places have appeared here recently. Things are getting so tangled, I, I don't know what to do. Uh, by the way, why are you standing so far from us? You better not be planning to hightail it if something does come up. <laughs> of course not! I mean, um, I can't stand too close, you know? I get in your way. <sighs> Man, they really went all out on this. But out of all the places in town, why'd they replicate this one? How should I know? This is reality for the one who's here. As usual, nothing you say makes any sense. But if this is our shopping district, 
We're not far from Saki Senpai's. I knew it. This is the liquor store that Senpai's parents run. Does this mean Senpai disappeared here? What could have happened? Wait a second. They're here. What? Shadows. I had a feeling they were going to attack. Stay calm and listen. Some shadows have weaknesses. If you can pinpoint that weakness and take advantage of it, the battle will be a lot easier. I can tell this one has a weakness too. Try stuff out and see what works. When you use an attack the enemy is weak against, it will be knocked down. Compared to other attacks, attacking the enemy's weakness does more damage. If you can knock all enemies down, you'll get a one more attack. Use your weapons and skills to strike enemy weaknesses and get one more attack to get the advantage in battle. However, if the enemies attack your weaknesses, they get extra attacks too! So always keep your enemies' weaknesses and your own in mind. Yikes! This is one tough enemy! Just reacquainting myself with the controls here. You can check known information about the enemy with the Analyze command, or by pressing the Analyze button. And just attack it. Because we can't do all out attacks yet with only one person, so there's no reason to uh, get them all down. Okay, hmm, soul drops. Always useful. You felt a surge of energy inside you after the recent battle. You did it, Sensei! Your HP and SP have increased. You are now able to create personas up to level 2. He's an army with his god piece. Izanagi. He has obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships. The persona, Izanagi! Whoa, what was that? Did I hear you say Persona? What was it? I mean, what did you do? Hey, you think I can do it too? Calm down, Yosuke. You're troubling Sensei. S sensei? Gosh almighty! You're amazing, Sensei! I am one impressed bear. I can't believe you were hiding such an amazing power. No wonder the shadows were scared of you. <gasps> Are you the one who's able to bring people into this world? And that's what I thought. This is really something. <laughs> I love that illustration. Don't you think so, Yosuke? Dude, you call him sensei and then don't show me any respect? All is right with the world. Sorry. 
Well, your support wasn't bad, though. I gotta give you some credit for that. Huh? Really? <laughs> it's blushes going into his eyes. All right. You two keep it up, and I think we'll be fine from here on out. Now let's get back to the investigation. Man, I wonder what could have happened to Senpai here. Voices begin to echo from somewhere. Ugh, I wish Janess would go under. It's all because of that store. What the? Oh, I heard that Konishi-san's daughter is working there. Oh my, how could she with her family's business suffering like it is? I know that voice actress. I heard their sales have gone downhill because of Juness. Stop it. That poor father. To have his own daughter working for the enemy. What a troublesome child. Hey, Ted! You said that this place is reality for those that are here, right? So, does that mean this was Senpai's reality when she wandered in here? I only know about what's over here. Fine. Whatever's going on here, we'll find out ourselves. I dealt the ca Again. the kegs and uh, casts are stacked that high in that way in reality. You begin to hear a man yelling. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? Is this Senpai's dad? You know what the neighbors say about you, right? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're the eldest daughter of a family who's owned this store for generations. Is it the money? Or did you meet some guy there? Just tell me why you have to work there of all places. I, I can't believe this. She seemed like she had fun at work. She never said anything like this to me. You're telling me this was how Senpai really saw things? These photos. Hey, is this... It's the photo we took the other day with the other part-timers at Juness. Why is it cut up like this? The scrap of the photo shows Saki Konishi smiling. Yosuke is, standi is standing next to her. I never had the chance to say it. Is that Senpai's voice? I always wanted to tell Hanachan. Huh? Me? That he was a real pain in the ass. Preach. I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. Testify. But he takes it completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What a dip. A pain in the ass? Who cares about Juness anyway? Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me. The neighbors talk behind my back. I wish everything would just disappear. But it's a lie. This can't be. Senpai's not like that. It's... <laughs> So sad. I feel so sorry for myself. Actually, I'm the one who thinks everything's a pain in the ass. <laughs> huh? Two Yosuke's? Who are you? I, I wouldn't think that. <laughs> yeah, right. How long are you going to keep deluding yourself? Screw the shopping district, and Juness too. You're sick of everything, especially living out in the sticks. What are you saying? Th that's not true, I... You put on a good show of being carefree and happy-go-lucky because you're so terrified of being alone. The more, the merrier, right? You gotta be surrounded by people to block out the pain of isolation. And what's this about checking out this world for Saki-senpai's sake? Ha! I know the real reason you came snooping. Stop it! <laughs> Why so panicked? I thought I was just spouting bullshit. Or maybe I do know everything you're thinking. Why's that? Because I am you. You just came because you thought it sounded like a good time. What else is there to do out in this shithole? The world inside the TV. Now that's exciting. 
You didn't have a single other reason for coming here, did you? It's not true. Stop! Stop it! You're just trying to act like a big shot. If all went well, hey, maybe you could even be a hero! And that senpai you were so sweet on? Her death was the perfect excuse. And there's so many refrigerators in this store. That's not true! What are you? Who are you? <laughs> I already told you. I'm you. Your shadow. There's nothing I don't know about you. Screw that! I don't know you! You can't be me, you son of a bitch! <laughs> That's right! Say it again! You're not me! You're nothing like me! Yeah, that's right. I am me now. I'm not you anymore, see? Which we are weak to. How long can you survive this? This one's much stronger than the last type. Be careful! Whenever you feel threatened, just defend yourself. During battle, you can choose to defend yourself rather than attack the enemy. Self guard from the battle menu to decrease the damage you receive. While defending, attacks to heal weakness and status ailments attacks can be blocked. If it looks like an enemy is about to let loose with a devastating attack or about to hit your weakness, be sure to guard, but be careful, for you will leave the defensive stance after being hit once. Okay, so it can be Zeo. Follow that up with the cleave. Attacks. Do a Zeo. Follow up once more with the cleave. Okay, that's our signal to guard. Just do a normal attack to see what the real difference is with the cleave. Okay, cleave does about twice as much. Guard. Yeah, I probably don't need it, but might as well use it. CO2 combo should do it. Well, that's a bit much, don't you think? Okay, experience, money. You felt a surge of energy inside after the recent battle. Congratulations, Sensei! Your HP and SP have increased. You are now able to create personas up to level 3. Something inside of you has changed. Izanagi has leveled up. Strength has increased by two. Luck has increased by one. But it doesn't get Rakunda just yet. I, I, Yosuke, are you okay? Yeah. What happened? You, you're not 
Me. That thing came from you, Yosuke. You have to admit it, or it'll go berserk again. Yosuke seems reluctant to accept it. You have to be brave! Brave? Damn it. Hurts to face yourself. I knew it wasn't lying. I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it. You're me, and I'm you. When you get down to it, all of this is me. The strength of heart required to face oneself has be been made manifest. Yosuke has faced his other self. He obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships, the persona Jiraiya. This is my persona. When we heard Senpai's voice. I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. <laughs> he was a real pain in the ass. Huh. What a way to find out. Jeez, this is so embarrassing. If you weren't here, I don't know what would have happened. Thanks. Hey, Teddy. Could Senpai have been attacked by her other self here? Like how it just happened to me? I think so. The shadows here were originally born from humans. Sometimes the fog clears, then they all go berserk. And you saw what happens next. A strong-willed shadow draws others to it, and a big mass of shadows kills the host. So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. Yosuke's pretty worn out. This world isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. I don't hear any more voices. I think we're done with this place. Let's go back. Hey, Teddy. You said that this place is reality for people who enter, right? So that shopping district and the weird room we saw before? Did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, did those places form because of the people who entered this world? Yes, yes it is. I don't know. It's never happened before. But that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. It was the same for them. The fog does lift here sometimes. The shadows get really violent then. I always get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed people here twice before, but both of them disappeared after the fog lifted. So let's get this straight. Senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here, and since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. After a while, that shadow thing came out of them. The fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. Does that sound right? So if I'd been here until the fog cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You were lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. Damn it. Senpai and that announcer. We were stuck here all alone. No one could save them. I mean, technically, Teddy probably could have let them out. Come to think of it. Yosuke. They disappeared when the fog lifted. But they were safe before that. No shadows attacked them. They attacked us, though. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. It'll be dangerous, but we might be able to fight them. We might save people. Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? Like how you guys just saved me? That seems to be the case. Anyways, we need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. Yeah, I'm finally starting to understand what's going on. Um, can I ask something too? If shadows are born from humans, what was Teddy born from? You don't even know where you came from? How should we know? I know some things, mostly about this world, but 
I don't know anything about myself. To be honest, I never thought about it until now. Are you serious? No wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. Will you guys come back here? We made a promise. You'll keep your word? Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'll let you out. But there's one thing. I'll be waiting for you guys here. You need to come in from the same place every time, so we can meet up. From the same place? You could come in from somewhere else, but then you won't end up here. You might show up somewhere I couldn't get to you. Then you'd be doomed. Got it? Well, pretty much. All right. Can okay, that's probably what happened to the other two. He just couldn't reach them. Roger that. One exit coming right up. Or didn't know how to, or were scared of the shadows, or what have you. Cool. First, we need to make sure there aren't any employees milling around out there. Okay, go, go, go! Squish! Uh, hey, stop squeezing, you little... Ugh! might have kind of sort of been our fault. Maybe we did go a little too far. Let's apologize to her tomorrow. I'm completely wiped out. I'm gonna go home, soak in the shower for a while and get some sleep. I think I'm gonna sleep well tonight. Well, see you in the morning. Near the floodplain while walking home from Juness. to see me dressed this way my parents sent me out on an errand um are you getting used to your new town in school i like it here really but it must be difficult moving to a place you know nothing about i've never been out of Inaba, so i wouldn't know what it's like to transfer to a new school oh are you getting along with chie I mean, I always leave early, so, um... Uh, we're getting along. I'm glad to hear that. Chie's very supportive, you know? It's always her who gives me the little extra push I need. We had homeroom together last year, too, and I still remember how we cut class sometimes. Young lady, she is a bad influence and you should stay away from her. I should get going. I need to make tomorrow's arrangements with our head chef. Our inn can't function without me right now. Um, I'll see you at school then. Dad's late. Our next story is an update in our ongoing report on the bizarre murders occurring in Inaba. At around 7 a.m., local high school student Saki Konishi was found dead in Inaba's residential area. Since the body was positioned similarly to the last victim, 
And since Miss Konishi was the one who discovered that body, police are proceeding under the assumption that this may be a serial murder case related to the death of Mayumi Yamano. The coroner's report has established Miss Konishi's time of death at around 1 a.m. last night. The body went unnoticed until this morning as a result of the heavy fog blanketing the area. Another incident. Dad won't be coming home tonight. I'll be here with you. I'll be okay. Can you help me do some stuff around the house? Nanako seems to be very reliable for her age. Amagi Inn, located upstream of Samegawa River, is the town's oldest historical landmark. Vacationers are known to travel surprising distances in order to visit its open-air, radium-rich hot springs. Okay! <laughs> After the incident with Miss Yamano, the manager has stepped aside, leaving her daughter Yukiko to fill her shoes. Yukiko is on TV wearing a kimono. In other words, she's a manager who's still in high school. Now that has a nice ring to it. Let's see if we can interview her. Excuse me! Hmm? Um, are you speaking to me? We've heard that you're the new manager. Is it true you're still in high school? Oh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow, you're looking gorgeous in that kimono. You must have had a lot of male visitors. Uh, food um, factor. No, um. The reporter's rambling goes further and further off subject. This is boring. Oh, I need to do the dishes. You decided to help out with the housework. You can now check your status by pressing the command menu button. You may now create quick save data from the command menu. To continue playing from a quick save, select continue from the title screen. The layout and progress of your current floor will be reset, and you will start at the beginning of the floor. Uh, that's for when we get into dungeons. It goes a lot faster when there are two people washing the dishes. This is sometimes true. A quiz show is on TV. Nothing catches your eye. Okay. And of course, this is our little uh, menu. Summer stance. And then, like you, Skaze our main air dude. And then this is the uh, social stance that we have. That are gates for um, different links and actions. These are quests we find throughout the game just by talking to folks. Uh, they're like mainly like you'd like gather materials from enemies and stuff like that. Oh, there's 69 of them. Nice. Uh, yep, and all the standard stuff of the RPG. Come on. It's raining tonight. Something may appear on TV. You should go back to your room and check the TV. Watch TV in your room. Okay, I do love the uh, Persona 3 uh, calendar he has. <laughs> oh, I forgot to read the text box. Something, something that's raining, something, something midnight channel, probably. Are predicting heavy fog throughout the year. The region has seen an abnormal amount of fog over the past few years, and the cause of the climate change is unknown. Whatever the reason, residents of the Inaba area should be extra careful. Our broadcast tonight was extended to bring you up to date news on the incident in Inaba. The time is now midnight. The image is there again. It seems that if the conditions are met, you can see it as many times as you want. A silhouette appeared. It appears to be a woman. It looks like she's wearing a kimono. The image is so out of focus that you can't tell who it is. What would happen if you touched the image on the midnight channel? Would you be able to touch the person on the screen?
the image disappeared. You should speak to Yusuke and the others about this tomorrow. You decide to go to bed for tonight. This is... Welcome. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dreams. It seems you've been summoned to the Velvet Room. And so we meet again. This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. In your daily life, you subconsciously heard the call to awaken and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice, thereby enacting your glorious awakening to your power. Hold on to this. Obtained Velvet Key. From this night forth, you are our guest in this velvet room. Your destiny will require you to hone your power. And for that, you will inevitably require our help. There is but one prize for this assistance. You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. I understand. Very well. The persona you have acquired, it is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Perhaps you can think of it as... A facade of determination you wear to face various difficulties in life. Your persona ability, however, is that of the wild card. Compared to that of others, it is very special. It is like the number zero. Empty, yet holding infinite potential within itself. Empty. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Control one's heart. Social links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you're searching for. Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> Till we meet again. Yo! You saw what was on last night, right? I couldn't tell who it was, but if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. If it turns out someone was thrown in again, there really might be a culprit behind all this. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims. If someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. We need to find the culprit, no matter what it takes. There's no way the police can do it. Who'd believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? It has to be us. <laughs> cool. It's reassuring to hear someone else say it. You know, I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. I think I can do that now because I have the same power. Persona, wasn't it? could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. And again, you managed to go inside the TV and get your persona first. I feel like as long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. Well, let's do our best. Even with so much mystery swirling around, Yosuke is trying his hardest to move on. You sense a faint stirring of friendship between you and Yosuke. A 
Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the Magician Arcana. As you form a bond with Yosuke, you feel the power in your heart strengthening. You recall Igor's words. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Social links. Is this bond with Yosuke what Igor was talking about? You've established the Yosuke Hanamura social link of the Magician Arcana. Yosuke's determination in battle has been enhanced. Yosuke can now wake up a knocked down ally during battle. Your ally may help someone who is knocked down get back on their feet. Yeah, because I know in Golden they kind of switched the order of those perks. Like, I think, like, originally it was, like, you got the Protect perk right yeah. off the bat, but then they changed it in this one and obviously in 5 where that doesn't come to, like, much later. Um, about yesterday? We're sorry we worried you. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? Huh? Yukiko-san? Uh, no. At least, I haven't seen her today. Oh, man. What should I do? Hey, is that stuff you were talking about for real? You know, all that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The person on TV yesterday? I think it was Yukiko. That kimono looked like the one she wears at the inn, and she wore it during that interview a few days ago, too. I got worried, so I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. I called her earlier in the evening, though, and she said she'd be at school today. I... Calm down. We get the picture. And you still haven't heard from her? No! You summed up the information you gained in the other world for Chie. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying Yukiko was thrown in there? We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. Give her another call. No good! Her voicemail picked up! She, she's not answering! Are you serious? Then is Yukiko-san inside that place? S stop it! Something must have come up, like an errand or something. Oh, or she might be helping at the end. She wouldn't be able to answer her cell if that's it. Yeah, but would she skip school for that? Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um, I've got the number here somewhere. Come on, Yukiko, pick up. Oh, is this Yukiko? Thank God she's there. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I see. Oh, uh, nah, it was nothing. <laughs> I'll email you again later. <sighs> she was over at the inn. She said they had a big group reservation and she had to help out. Yeah. Oh, now that I think about it, this has happened before, too. At least once a year. She said she'll be at the inn tomorrow, too. For crying out loud, Yosuke, you got me worried over nothing. She was totally fine. And you were all, is Yukiko-san inside that place? <laughs> Sorry, but there is a reason we thought that. Oh, yeah? What? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. I mean, it makes sense, right? People show up on TV because they're inside the TV. But Yukiko-san's still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. Alright, let's meet up at Juness after school. You explain to Chie in detail again about what happened last night. Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. Yeah, no kidding. Anyway. 
Yep, sorry. Yeah. Too bad there's so many customers around. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. How? By talking to that Teddy guy? I got it. Come here a sec. Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. Hey, Chia, stand over here. Make a wall with me. A wall? What a wall. What's wrong? Shh, not so loud. Dude. I'm fine. To sound like a crazy person. No, it's not a game. Can you sense anyone inside there right now? Who's anyone? I'm a lonely little bear, like always. This land feels so barren. <laughs> Folks, we've done it. We've reached the first teddy bear pun. to school on Monday, right? Sure. I'll go pick her up at her house. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's Midnight Channel. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. Ah, uh, the age of flip phones. Takes me back. Alright. Don't forget to watch tonight. Was it really Yukiko who appeared last night? You need to watch the Midnight Channel again tonight. Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. We don't even know if this is a homicide. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. I know. We haven't found the cause of death for the first Vic. Now we got a second one just like it. If this is a murder case, there's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. But if that's true... What the... You know, I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. No. That singer, Misuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records prove it. And remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. Got a point there. Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. He's been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead? He's been fired from his position as secretary. He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Yeah. I mean, one's dead. I agree. Then we have the second case regarding Saki Konishi. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was hauled up. But that hardly points to a motive. Coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news, too. What? Is the story about the inn out already? Who 
Okay, I got it. How's this? Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. <sighs> Either way, all we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. Our perp. It has to be someone in Inaba. Wow, is your detective's intuition at work? Okay, so real quick, I'm going to stretch my legs, grab myself a cup of coffee, and I'll be right back at it. So, be right back. Alrighty, and back from the stretch. Well... Hmm, this answer is hard. Nanako is absorbed in the quiz show. You should leave her alone. A quiz show is on TV. Nothing catches your eye. Okay, let's put a save in. 
It's raining through the night again. You should check the midnight channel tonight, too. Watch TV in your room. It's raining tonight. Will something appear on TV? Ah, uh, right. Good evening. Tonight, Princess Yukiko has a big surprise. I'm gonna go score myself a hot stud. Welcome to Not a Dream, Not a Hoax. Princess Yukiko's hunt for her Prince Charming. And I came prepared. I've got my lacy unmentionables on, stacked from top to bottom. I'm out to catch a whole harem, and the best of the lot is gonna be all mine. Well... Here I go! That was definitely Yukiko on the Midnight Channel just now. Try to contact, uh, I don't think he has a number, so try to contact Chie. You're right. Let's get her to contact you, Kyo-san. Tomorrow's Sunday, so let's meet up at Juness first thing in the morning. You promised to meet up with Yusuke tomorrow. You decided to go to bed early tonight. Unfold the futon. It seems that only Nanako is here. Where's your father? He left already. He said he's gonna be late. If you leave, Nanako will be left all alone to look after the house. On the other hand, you have important business with, with Yosuke today. Are you going somewhere? I'll be fine by myself. I always am. So the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. As for next week's forecast... Oh, the sun's gonna come out. I should do some laundry. Uh, weren't you going somewhere? You decided to go out. Sorry for the holdup. I found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. Take a look at these. Yes, just kept in the closet. Of every Japanese home. We've got our personas, but a golf club's not that reliable of a weapon. So, which one strikes your fancy? The katana. Ah, you've got discerning taste. This is a Juness exclusive. The blade's fake, though. Nah, really? As for me... Wait, maybe both would be good, too. Kinda like this? No. Or like this. What about this? <laughs> Two suspicious young males found, one armed with multiple weapons, requesting immediate backup. Huh? Oh, crap. I mean. No, 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 this, this isn't what it looks like. We didn't steal it. I guess that's not what matters. Anyways, we're not doing anything bad. We're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound right either. Of course it does. <laughs> All kids like weapons. Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. Hands where I can see them, too. I said now! Uh, but... <laughs> Are you resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest! You are taken to the police station with Yosuke as suspects. You didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like this. 
You know what's been going on around town. We got men stationed everywhere, for God's sake. You're lucky I was around. Or this would have ended up on your permanent record. We're sorry. Your weapons have been confiscated. Wait, so the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? Why, yes, Seems Plains like Closeman. Well, she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. Hey, did he say Amagi? Then she really is. Hmm? Who's what now? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. You're free to go. But this better not happen again. Whoa, pardon me. Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? Oh, uh, can we ask you something? It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Did something happen to her? Huh? Oh, um, am I allowed to say? Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. But people have been turning up dead on foggy days, so we're really sensitive to stuff like this. By the way, did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? Uh, hard times? Well, that announcer Miss Yamana was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. And, with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, she must have felt pretty strongly about the incident, you know? By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that she might be leaving the house? Because if not, there's been some theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. Ah, crap. I think I've gone too far. You didn't hear that, okay? Adachi, what the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my coffee? Sorry. Did Jamie ask me the right real here. questions here? Forget I said anything, please. Hey, does that detective think that Yukiko-san... Well, there was a slight misunderstanding. We'll tell you about it later. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know already? I kept calling her so, but she didn't pick up. So I went to her house, and it turns out Yukiko really did disappear. I guess we've got no choice but to go now. But that aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Apparently Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. They think that gives her a motive. And the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. What? They think Yukiko did it? <gasps> what the hell is wrong with them? Dude, don't snap at me. Yukiko's the victim here, damn it, not the suspect. They both seem agitated. Look, we need to save her. Right. That's the important thing. With the police totally on the wrong track, we've got to handle it ourselves. Two. And that's final. I'm Are you gonna be uh, alright? Sorry about that. Man, they just confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty handed. Weapons? Oh, I know just the place. Come on, follow me. She is certified martial arts otaku. shop is this? Uh, metalworks, I guess? They sell all sorts of metal crap, like katanas and stuff. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? Oh, I get it. You watch one too many kung fu movies and... 
It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. Here, this one looks good, but it might be too heavy. I don't know, Chie. I still think it's too dangerous. I know how you feel, but... You don't! You don't know shit about how I feel. You people might die from this for crying out loud. I'm going, and that's that! Oh, all right. <laughs> I'll be fine. My reflexes are second to none. You've seen me kick listen, Yosuke in the balls. I'm not kidding around. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not going to listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. All right. Hey, man, what should we get? Hey, mind picking out something for me too? You're our main asset in battle right now. So I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. Received 5,000 yen from Yusuke. I got my stuff all picked out. How about you got? You know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. But it's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice either. Why not conceal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. Okay, let's try that. All right, let's split up and get ready. The store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends, and if we walk around together, the cops might get suspicious. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness food court. Old man, Daidara. Have you come to see my art? Please, look around. Take your time. Armor for folks. Yep. No real reason to get accessories yet. Yeah. No reason to get the hunting nada. swirl effect. There's a bizarre door before you. It seems the others can't see the door. So, it finally begins. Now, if you'll give me a moment of your time. The velvet key in your pocket is shining. Catastrophe that has headed your way. It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. But you have nothing to fear. You already have the power to fight against it. It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. <laughs> your persona ability is that of the wild card. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. Our role is to facilitate that. My contribution is to give birth to new personas. By mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. This, in other words, is the fusion of personas. You have the power to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. When you obtain new cards, please do not hesitate to bring them here. If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. They will be one of your chief sources of strength. You would do well. To take this to heart. 
You recall that you have the Magician social link with Yosuke. It seems that a, when a persona of the Magician Arcana is fused, that persona will gain even more power. The tome you see in my hand is the Persona Compendium. Registering the personas you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. Please see me when you wish to use it. Oh, and one more thing. I would like to introduce a new resident of the Velvet Room, who will be helping you on your journey. <laughs> Marie? <sighs> yeah, I can hear. Nice to meet you. The girl seems unfriendly. You feel like that you've met her somewhere before. I have met you somewhere. Huh? Before. Oh. Maybe. That'd explain why you're so familiar. Hmm. Excuse her. This is Marie. Unlike the rest of us, she dresses like a slattern. Her soul is still very young and... Shut up. Don't tell him any more about me than you need to. Excuse me, young miss. She may be brusque at times, but please understand that she is only an apprentice, and forgive her for her impoliteness. We will cane her when you leave. Got it. Marie will be dealing with skill cards. Using these cards will allow you to provide your personas with new powers. Also, I am sure she will help you form a bond between yourself and the outside world. Marie will contact you at a later date. Please feel free to speak with her here when you wish to use her services. But does she also itemize personas? Because if she does, then she will be immensely more useful. I mean, skill cards are nice, but still. Do you recall my words to you before? The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Please do not forget this. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. <laughs> I look forward to it. Until then, farewell. Okay. Let's actually stop by none of the books grab your interest. Did you come to see uh, Yamini san's books too? This bookstore only sells books specially selected by the owner. It's a specialty bookstore. It carries a vastly different selection than what Juness has. It's fun to see what they carry next. The next shipment date is April 20th, so you sh should come look too. Are you with the. You're. Uh, you're the boy Nanachan was with. Maybe it's okay if it's you. Okay, I think I'll brag to you. I have a younger twin sister. We're lucky twins. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing. Isn't it? We're the same in every way, and my sister's totally worth boasting about. You know what makes life easier when I'm taking walks or shopping? The sub menu button! With just a press of the sub menu button! You can come and go as you please! Ah, uh, the wonderful sub menu button! The ever present. Press me anytime, sub menu button. Um, I know this is all kind of weird, but please don't think too strangely of me. Too late. Hey, did you hear about it too? Murder! Murder, I say! Even worse, a serial murder! I thought I could rela relax out here in the country, but this, I have more tense than ever. Ah! Okay, this is the store. Ah, welcome. That's 100 to yourself, 100 to all allies. We are not going to buy anything here yet because they do do a uh, sale on rainy days. Well then, young man, nice to meet you. You come from the steam, hmm? So you're in the middle of some hard times, eh? The store may be a bit sloppy, but please take your time to look around. It's a beverage vending machine. However, all the drinks are sold out, there's nothing for you to buy. Unfortunate. Huh? What do you want? You're not from around here, are you? I'm busy with errands. For my sister. Ugh. If only this was a part-time job. But doing all of this for no reward? I can't believe it. 
You know, the note says that starting the 23rd you can apply for a part-time job, but at my age, getting hired is impossible. Okay, let's try this. Right. It's, uh, Sozai, uh, Daigaiku. Welcome! Our food is freshly made and tastes incredibly great. What do you want to buy? Okay, not anything right now. The murdered Yamano announcer was... She had an affair with the councilman's secretary, right? It seemed like a scene out of a drama. It doesn't seem real. Hey, did you know? There's been rumors forever about those things appearing at the shrine. What am I talking about? You know, those things. I've never seen one, so I don't believe it in the slightest. This place is a playground for kids during the day, so you might not know how different it feels here at night. I tell you, it's scary. You can't even take one step inside if you don't have the courage. Did you hear about that incident, too? It's so scary, isn't it? It's horrible. Ever since I got married and moved out to the country, I thought I'd be safer way out here, you know? I have to start locking the doors at night. I'll have to tell my neighbors next door to do the same. Did you hear, youngster? There was a murder! A murder! It's absolutely deplorable. I have lived here around for 80 years, and I never would have thought something like this would happen in this town. This is an insult to my beloved town, and all the honest people who live here. Utterly deplorable. Okay, check these vending machines real quick. It's a beverage vending machine with a roulette game. However, all the drinks are sold out. There's nothing for you to buy. Okay. Motorcycle is the embodiment of a high schooler's youth. A kid who has a bike is in control of the best days of his life. With a motorcycle, you can zip through Inaba in your youth. That's why I'm going to become the motorcycle racing king of Inaba. Well, if I ever get one. Right now, it's more of a conceptual title. Everybody knows about the murder, don't they? It's all I ever hear. Murder this, murder that. Did you see those pictures of Mayumi Yamano's corpse? You know, the news announcer. It was on Tuesday the 12th. She was found hanging on an antenna on a house near the river in Inaba. This very town! The next victim was from a nearby school. If memory serves, it was Yasugami High. No, I don't know the victim. I just know what I saw on the news. I'm just an elementary school teacher. The kids I teach know more about society than I do. Okay, then. Huh. Yes, there is. Catching bugs makes me thirsty. I really want some tap soda, but I spent all my allowance. Oh, well, I'll just drink water. And we can't get any tap soda since all the vending machines are empty. What do you want to play today, Shoda? I want to play princesses, but I want to catch bugs. My friend said a bunch of different bugs live in the trees around here. No, we're going to play with me. You can catch bugs when it's dark. But my mom says I can't go outside at night, so... Okay, so it seems... Since we can't get anything from the vending machines just yet, I actually probably will go and buy the katana. Just for the weapon upgrade. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sell the golf club. You remember that you're supposed to meet the others at the Juness food court. Head to Juness? Yes. They really stick out. Guess it doesn't help that we're in our school uniforms on a Sunday. The sale should end soon, so that'll get rid of some of the people wandering around here. All right, let's get going. Gee, it's not too late to... I'm going! Fine, but don't push yourself, got it? What are you doing? Can't you tell? I'm thinking about stuff. It seems he's been thinking about himself all this time. I've been deliberating over it for a long time now. Hey, that wasn't a bad joke. Take uh, a drink. <laughs> so, did you figure anything out? Uh, it's probably useless to think about it too much. I've seen the inside of your skull, and it was empty. 
He doesn't really have a skull, that's more of an exoskeleton. You're right though. I try and try, but nothing comes out of my head. Will you guys shut up? Now's not the time for stupid jokes. Listen, someone came here yesterday, right? Wow. There's a girl with a better nose than me? What's your name, miss? M miss Uh, I'm Chie, but never mind that. Tell me more about that someone. I think it happened a little after I talked with you guys. After that, it felt like someone was here. Is it Yukiko-san? I, I don't know. I haven't looked. The presence is over that way. That's probably where they are. Over there, huh? Is everyone ready? Yeah. What the? A castle? You think this is the place they showed on TV last time? You're positive that no one's behind a camera for that bizarre midnight program. Program? I don't know. Maybe people on your side can see stuff in this world. It might be that. And I told you before, there's only me and shadows here. There's no camera stuff going on. This world has been like this from the beginning. From the beginning? That's what we don't understand. I don't know. Can you guys explain everything about your world? I've never seen this program thingy before, so I don't know. Well, is that really what's happening? Are we really looking into this world? Because the first time Yukiko showed up on that channel was before she disappeared. Doesn't that seem off? I mean, Yukiko saying stuff like, score myself a hot stud. Oh, that's not like her at all. Score? Stud? Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. Yukiko-san would never say anything like that. Huh, I wonder. Is this kind of like what happened to me last time? There's a lot of stuff I still don't get. But after hearing your story, I think that program happens because of the person who appears on it. Or something like that. So, Yukiko is producing that show herself? Oh, I don't get this at all! Hey, do you feel Yukiko's presence from inside? I'm pretty sure. So, um, what's this scoring with a hot stud thing? Yukiko's here. I'm going on ahead! Hey, wait, don't go alone! Jeez, we better follow her. Oh, sorry. Dude, you, are you serious? Why didn't you tell us before? Come on, let's go find Chie. Uh, if I am to reiterate, it's like, oh, she ran off by herself. Oh, it's dangerous. There are shadows in there. It's dangerous for a girl alone. Why? Why, did, why didn't you tell us? Let's go after her. Leroy Jenkins. I forgot how much I loved this uh, music during the setup screen. The girl ran off on her own. That's kind of dangerous. We should catch up to her quick, Sensei. Oh, that's right. Here, take this. Obtained revival B times three. Oh, this too. I gathered all of these myself. I give them to you, Sensei. Obtain Peach Seed times five, Soul Drop times five. Well, off you go. Hey, we have to save Chie first. Okay, so it locks us into doing Chie, which I do remember that, yes. Be careful. She hasn't gone that far yet. Uh, she ran off all alone. Damn it, let's go. Uh, wait a second. The shadows have gotten aggravated ever since you two got here. They'll probably attack as soon as they find you, Sensei. So try, try to get the jump on shadows before they can attack you. Press the action button to attack. Try and land the attack so that the shadow does not make the first move on you. Okay. Oh, yeah, nice biggin. Oh, well, that's a misswing. Oh, right. I have to set his it's tactics. Now. Should we show him who's boss? Yes. Oh. 
You see mysterious cards before your eyes. You recall what Igor told you. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. Okay, when enemies are defeated, a shuffle time may occur and a number of cards will appear in your mind. These cards have various effects, but drawing a Persona card will allow you to obtain a Persona. The obtained Personas can be used in battle, or they can be fused in the Velvet Room to give birth to new Personas. In most cases, you will only be able to draw one card. Select the card that you need depending on your situation. This won't notice you until changing floors or once the next battle ends, or Chariot. Uh, slime. Let's get the slime. Okay. Tricking one more during battles and defeating all enemies with an all-out attack makes shuffle time occur more. Use this knowledge to defeat enemies in a way that gains you the maximum amount of rewards. And I know they significantly changed shuffle time in Golden, because it was not like this in, uh... You have welcome slime into your heart. Not like this in, uh... The original. We have leveled up. So has... Persona, more strength, more luck, and Rakunda lowers on one enemy's defense for one turn, for three turns. Treasure? Hello. One moment. My computer. My game's gone into windowed mode. Okay, there I go. And I do want to see if I can. Okay, not. Yeah, I think I'll have to switch his tactics to direct commands in the, uh, battle menu. Okay. So let's continue down. All right. Thank you. Okay, tactics, Yosuke, direct commands. Oh, did not mean to rush. I've been playing uh, Persona 5 recently where you hit Y for the uh, skills, but of course in this one it's Rush. Yeah, get me some health. And it says it also restored some SP. Oh, that is useful in this game. Having these, the minor arcana cards. Hmm. Let's continue exploring for now. All right, got advantage. Two enemies. You can enter them. Go, Sensei. You knocked it down. Good work, Sensei. That's one so far. Let's do this. Scaru. It's down. Okay. Uh, yeah. Get a chest key. The card of the Temperance Archon. Obtain a chest key. Okay. Jiraiya leveled up. Got strength, endurance, and agility. There are two enemies. Hang in there. Okay, he just has bash. Yeah. That was a good 
good one, Sensei! Nice! It's down! Okay. Yep. Oh, out of Increases the equipped persona's endurance by one. Um, I'll just get another chest key. Like, yeah, that's good, but I'm not really going to keep uh, Izanagi around for too long. So, like, that's good for, like, once you have a persona that you know you're going to be using for a bit. Just getting more stats on it, it was always nice, but... Tainted Peach Seed... Hmm, you're good at fighting, Sensei. Compared to you, your Yosuke stinks! Shut up, Ted. Though, I do gotta admit, you have a knack for this stuff. Doesn't he? So you should be the one to give Yosuke orders during a fight. Already on it! You can give orders to your allies during combat with a tactics command. You can give your allies uh, new orders on the field by pressing the sub-menu button. Oh, okay. Dicks me off to hear Teddy say that stuff, but I don't want to cause trouble doing my own thing in battle. So don't hesitate to order me around. I'm counting on you. Oh, you can do that. That's very nice. There she is. Chie Chan is in there. Open the door. Yes. Chie, are you all right? Chie? She said that red looks good on me. Yukiko-san? Hated my name, Yukiko. Snow. Snow is cold and it melts quickly. It's transient, worthless, but it's perfect for me. Apart from inheriting the inn, I'm worthless. Still, Chie told me that red looks good on me. Are these Yukiko-san's inner thoughts? I remember hearing Saki Senpai's too. Yeah. This castle is probably here because of this Yukiko person. Yukiko? Chie was the only one who gave my life meaning. She's bright and strong, and she can do anything. She has everything that I don't. Compared to Chie, I'm... I'm... Chie protects me. She looks after my worthless life. And I... I don't deserve any of it. Chie is so kind. Yukiko, I... Chie is so kind, huh? What a joke. What? Oh, man. Is that... It's just like Yosuke. She lost control over her suppressed self. Now it's a shadow. We need to protect Chie. We need to protect Chie chan right now. I just said that. No, don't come near me. Don't look at me. Chie, calm down. No, no, this isn't me. Wait, stupid. Don't say anything else like that. <laughs> That's right. I'm the one who can't do anything alone. I can't win as a girl, let alone as a person. I'm pathetic. But Yukiko, she depends on me. 
That's why she's my friend. I'll never lose my grip on her. She's too important to me. No, that's not how I think of her. <laughs> so you're just going to turn your back and deny me again? But things are different now. When the time comes, I'll be the one left standing. You are quite right. I'm still you. Shut up! You're... Jin, no! You're not me! <laughs> Alrighty, probe for weakness. Oh, that, mm. uh. Use for Kunda to decrease its defense. All up there. Slime just is bash and all that. Well, actually, let's take a look see here. Oh, in a much lower strength. Not even worth it. Right, her wall's still up. He's next. So I'll be for you. Which I think is still doing more damage than my Zio. I should double check that. Now he has to heal himself. Okay. Let's use our Zio real quick. Okay. It's not exactly apples to apples with her defense reverting, but... Okay, let's use our... Defense lower. Nope. Garu. All out of ten. Okay, so Zia would actually have done more if it cost SP. Let's use Bash. Ow! Uh, that was intense. You okay? 
Yeah, just do a standard attack, really. Not easy. Okay, um... Use a medicine for me, son. Use a revival bead on Yusuke. Okay, well that's over with. Could have handled it a bit better, but uh, it's done. And that's all that matters. Good amount of money. Bad, I mean, for this point of the game. Level up. Same with him. He's got good strength. Strength, magic, agility. Yeah, I think Yosuke Mai becomes more of an all-rounder. If I remember correctly. Uh, Jie, are you okay? What happened? What's the matter? Got nothing to say anymore? Stop it, Jie. It's all right. B but. We understand. Huh? He's right. I went through the same thing. So I can understand. I mean, everyone has a side like this. Yeah, kinda get it now. You are me. A side of me I couldn't forgive. That I tried to ignore. But you still exist. You're a part of me. The strength of heart required to face oneself has been made manifest. Chiri has faced her other self. She has obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardship, the persona Tamoe. about being friends with Yukiko. Like we didn't know that already. Hey, Chie! I'm okay. Just a little tired. You don't look okay at all. And I bet you can use the same power we have now. Huh? Hey, what should we do? Let's take a break. Alright, let's get back to the entrance, though. It's dangerous around here. I never said I needed a break. I can still keep going. Don't overdo it. It's not that we don't think you can. It's just we have to save Yukiko-san no matter what. Now that you have the power, you can fight with us. It'd be much better for us all if you had your strength back. That's why we're saying we should go back and regroup. But Yukiko's still in here, isn't she? I... I uh... If those were Yukiko's true feelings, then I have to tell her something. I'm not as strong as she thinks. It's because she was with me. Because we were always together, I was able to act that way. If we weren't, I'd... Well, you need to get your strength back. Then you can tell her. Yuki-chan's normal. The shadows don't attack normal people. They only attack when the fog lifts here. So Yukiko-san will be safe until then, right? I'm positive. Why? I don't get it. Teddy told us that the weather here is the opposite of our own world. When it fogs over in our world, that's the day it lifts here. And that's when the shadows attack their victim. So even if we leave for a while, Yukiko-san won't be in danger until the fog starts to cover Inaba. I'm sure of it. It was the same way for that announcer and senpai. Don't you remember how it was foggy in town on the days they... You mean, they were killed by their other selves? The fog usually appears after it rains, but it's been sunny lately. I don't think it's going to rain anytime soon. Don't worry so much. We'll check the weather forecast first thing when we get back. But, but I can't turn back now! We've come so far! Yukiko's still here! 
she's all alone. She must be so scared. Then you tell me how much further we gotta go to reach Yukiko-san. Th that's You don't know what's up ahead. The enemies might be even stronger. If we push ourselves too hard and get wiped out, who will save Yukiko-san then? We can't fail no matter what. Am I wrong? <sighs> all right. I'm sorry about before. I shouldn't have rushed in like that by myself. Let's go together next time. No worries. We're definitely gonna save Yukiko-san, right? <gasps> right. I, uh, I'm feeling even worse than the last time I came in here. My head feels like it's gonna split open. Are you guys okay? It's thanks to these. That's right, you're not wearing the glasses. Oh yeah, what's with those glasses? Did your eyesight go bad? Man, you didn't notice until now? How panicked were you? Tum -ta -dum. I got a pair ready for Chie-chan too. Here you go. Whoa! What the? This is awesome! It's like the fog doesn't exist. Why didn't you whip those out earlier if you had them? I made them right now. You didn't tell me she was coming. It was all so sudden. I mean, sudden. Huh. So that's the trick. I was wondering how you guys could see where you were going. Hey, is it alright if I keep these? So show. Sure. We'll have to stop Okay then. Day, but I'll be back with these puppies. You guys better not come here without me, got it? Yeah, let's all promise each other. Nobody goes in alone. It's way too dangerous. If we don't work together, we won't be able to solve this case or save Yukiko-san, right? You're right. Yeah, I agree. I promise to. Let's solve the case! Alright. So from tomorrow on, we'll try and come here as much as we can after school. And that includes days off. Hey, would you mind being our leader? You were the first to get this power, and you're way better in a fight than either of us. I think it's best for all of us if you set the pace of the investigation and we follow your lead. I'm cool playing second banana. Leave it to me. I had a feeling you'd say that. I mean, I'm more the advisor type, you know? An ideas man, not an executive. I'm with Yosuke. If you're the one calling the shots, I'd feel a lot more comfortable about this. I'm with Yosuke too. If you're the one calling the shots, my pillow will be a lot more comfortable at night. Okay. Teddy, would you please stop talking? I'm really on edge right now. Words of wisdom. You've been unanimously appointed team leader. The days of pursuing this case alongside your friends have begun. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the fool, Arcana. You have established the investigation team social link of the fool, Arcana. You may earn an XP bonus when fusing personas of the fool, Arcana. Okay. Let's get some rest for today so we're ready for tomorrow on. And don't forget to check the weather forecast. It gets foggy after a lot of rain, so let's keep an eye out. Also, let's make sure we gear up for next time. After a few days of rain, fog may set in. Keep an eye on the weather while continuing to explore the TV world. Exploring the TV world will use up your after school or afternoon time. You decide to return to Juness and go back home. The three of you are having dinner. The news is on TV. That's all for World News Tonight. Coming up next, the local news. Hmm. 
Dojima is quiet, with a stern expression on his face. Hey, mind if I ask something? You aren't getting involved with any strange business, are you? What happened at the station this afternoon? It's still bothering me. Is there anything you're not telling me? Of course not. I see. Well, it's just been nagging at me, that's all. Well, what's... No, we're, we're not having a fight. This isn't the police station. I agreed to look after you. So don't get yourself involved in anything that could get you into trouble. Got that? pressure fronts from the west that sunny spring-like weather will stay with us for a while longer is this lady the one who decides the weather because when she says it'll be sunny it always is uh she's not really deciding it <laughs> never mind the news continues heedless of the heavy atmosphere Okay, so we now have Chie as a party member, she has Tamoy, who is mainly uh, more of a physical attacker, and also has some ice spells. Nothing yet there. Okay. So we've basically reached uh, where the game kind of opens up into the main loop. So I'm going to call it for the stream there. And yeah, it took about three and a half hours, which is kind of what I was expecting. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I will have the uh, VOD up on my uh, YouTube channel and Vegas Influence as always. Uh, coming this Wednesday, I'll be uh, returning to my Pillars of Eternity stream, blind, uh, not blind, uh, randomized build playthrough. Far from blind. Um... And then Friday, we'll be continuing on with uh, Persona 4 Golden again. Uh, let me see if there's anyone to give a raid to. Nothing right now. Well, yeah, anyways, uh, if you had enjoyed it, please do uh, give a follow. Always uh, happy for those. And uh, hope uh, to uh, see y'all later now. Okay? Y'all have a good night.